So welcome and thank you for joining me today. This is Georgie vlog number two. And if you did not see Georgie vlog number one, I will put a link up here that you can go check that out. I'm gonna make a playlist of these vlogs and every single Monday I'm gonna be putting these out for a while. And the idea of it is just to show you what's going on with Georgie, what I'm working with her on. And you can also give me feedback too if you've got ideas or suggestions, you know, feel free to put those in the comments. Now, if you don't know, I picked up Georgie from Flatlander Kennels. It's a kennel who is owned by Chris Jobman and it's up in Nebraska, it's an amazing place. And I'll tell you, if you have a lab and you're like, oh man, I don't know if I can get this job done, I need some professional help, couple things you can do. Number one, July 27th and 28th, Chris is putting on a retrieving seminar. It's an all day thing and you can go out there and really step up your training game, learn from Chris. Man, I wish I could be up there with you guys, but unfortunately I've got a conflict. But in the future, um, as he does these seminars, I'm certainly going to try to get up there and we can even meet uh, because I, I promise you, if you want to take your training to the next level, that is a great way to do it right now. Also on his Facebook page, he's got lots of cool things where he's showing exactly the kind of training he's doing. Check out his Facebook page. And also, if you've got a lab and you're like, man, I thought I could train this. I'm not really getting the job done. You, Chris and the guys out there at Flatlander Kennels can help you train that dog. So check them out. Check out that Facebook page. They got a website. I'll put it in the description. Also, give them a call. Go to the seminar. So moving on a little Georgia here. Now, let me tell you what I've been working on this week. I've been working on four things. Well, three things and then one thing I just want to show you. I've been working on socialization. Every single person that I've talked to on the Duck Gun podcast, every trainer, including... Chris has said the same thing about these puppies. Socialize, socialize, socialize. The biggest thing you want to do is socialize your dog. Mm -hmm. um, get it out, um, take it to soccer games and t-ball games and little football games and let people touch it and play with it. You just want to form a confident, happy dog. So when I've been going to Walmart or Tractor Supply Store, um, I have been taking Georgie with me. So we've been socializing her like crazy and she is a happy, confident little pup man you take a puppy out in public and i'll tell you it is a magnet for you single guys i'm married so you know i'm not in on this deal but for you single guys you get a little lab puppy you take them out in public go to the dog park you're gonna be a chick magnet Good job, baby. Oh, i'm your mother i promise you that's a little tip for me to you to help those of you that are a little bit not so good with the ladies that's a good way to get an in so socialization, man, we've been doing that like crazy and Georgie's doing great. Second thing is the water training has continued. Now I'm going to show you a clip here of little Georgie back at the creek. We took her a couple more times and I can't even believe it. Well, check this out. Georgie, go. Good girl. Just come out here and we'll see how far she'll come. This one to be her choice. Hi, Georgie. We just let her go at her own pace. She really wants to. No. Oh, she's doing it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Joshi! Yes! You we did it! You did it! Good girl! <laughs> Good dog! She swam! Good girl! <laughs> yes! Good dog, baby! <laughs> so that was the third time I took Georgie down to the creek and she all out swam. So she is doing awesome with her water work. And the ne I don't have it on video, but the next day I took her out to a different place at the lake and she was swimming all around. The amazing thing about that clip, guys, puppies normally doggy paddle out of the water and are all awkward with it. And little Georgie was just swimming like an adult. So man, she is kicking butt on her water work. So the next thing is I introduced a pheasant wing to Georgie this week. I'd been using that paint roller. I showed you that paint roller on last week's vlog. This week I got a pheasant wing, a couple of them from my friend Steve, and I introduced Georgie to the wing. Now, if you've watched old Izzy, uh, my yellow lab, you probably know she is a low key, 
low drive dog. And you know, Izzy has just never been that excited about birds or wings. Now she retrieves, she does the job, but she's never really been like a predator. I've always said Izzy has no predator in her. She would, she would just as soon go after a ball or a retrieval dummy as she would a bird. You know, most hunting dogs have that predatory instinct and Izzy just doesn't have it at all. That is not the case with little Georgie. When I showed her that wing, man, the, for the first time, she grabbed that wing and she took off running. She did not want me to get it back. There was something, this predator in her that was unlocked, man. Good girl, get that wing. Good girl. Good girl, Georgie. <laughs> man, and she is loving this wing. So check out these clips here of me working with her on the wing. Get it, George, get it. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Get it, George, get it. Find it. Find it, Georgie, find it. Find it, Georgie, find it. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. <laughs> Good dog. Find it, Georgie. Find it. Find it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm working little retrieves in the backyard in the house. I'm already introducing find it to her with that little bird wing. So, man, she is a little predator. She loves that wing. And that really uh, makes me excited. This dog is going to be fast and athletic, I'll tell you, which Izzy never was. She's going to be fast and athletic. She's a jumper. She's a fast little thing. Man, when I see her do a little jump and stuff, I just, in my mind, I'm imagining her entry into the water. So, man, these Flatlander Kennel Bloodlines guys are just incredible. Incredible. I told someone the other day, we were talking about Georgie, and I was like, well, you know, um, with dogs like this, it's like getting offspring of professional athletes. I mean, these bloodlines are so developed of the best hunting dogs year after year after year. And that's what it is with these Flatlander Kennel bloodlines. It's just, you're getting pups from professional athletes. And so, man, this dog is athletic and fast. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, so we did the um, socialization, the bird wing, the water work. Now this is week nine, she's nine weeks old. Um, so it's time for her to get her set of shots. So I took her to the vet and we got her shots and I'll show you that. good stuff. See, we're not always bad. So, I mean, she did a great job. She didn't squeal. She didn't whine when she got a shot. So we got her vaccinations, which is really important. Um, I got a list of when I've got to take her in and everything. So there you go. That is Georgie vlog number two. Next week will be number three. I don't know um, if throughout the season I'll do every single week, but I can promise you guys this. Georgie's not hunting until 2020. Um, fall, but you're going to see a lot from her. I don't think I'm just running tutorial how-tos. I just want to vlog it so you guys can get to know Georgie and kind of see what's going on and we can talk about it and discuss it. So thank you so much. Um, and if you're really like, man, teal season's almost here. It's almost here. I'll put up a teal playlist and you can go see Freelance Duck Hunting Teal Hunts as well to get yourself primed for the season. So that's all I've got today. Until next Monday, Georgie vlog number three, next Monday. Be ready for it. Thanks, guys.